yesterday in the evening all of us most of the indians celebrated diwali the festival of diwali is celebrated on chaturdashi that is the 14th day in the month of kartik and just after this there is going to be amavasya the new moon day this month is called as komudi komudi is the month when we celebrate diwali especially in the polar region when people are close to the poles they celebrate diwali by lighting up deepak that is called as nitya jyoti nitya jyoti is the perennial light because they know that in the polar region six months is going to be dark and the darkness is about to begin because it is north hemispheric winter and they expect that during this time the jyoti will be lit in fact in certain northern temples throughout these six months one akhanda deepa is kept alive this is a symbolic representation of source of warmth and energy that means people burn this nitya jyoti with a thought that their hearts should be lightened forever diwali is also a day which was according to mythology celebrated in ayodhya when lord rama after killing the demon ravana came back to ayodhya it is said that when rama was not there in ayodhya the light was not in ayodhya the light was in the forests now what does it indicate light refers to dharma light refers to jnana rama was the incarnation of jnana and dharma maryada purushottama when he was in ayodhya the light was there in ayodhya but when rama was absent in ayodhya the light was in the forest so on the return of rama it was believed that again the light has returned to ayodhya that means this mythological incident tries to indicate to us that when we live in a society we must have light in our lives knowledge in our lives dharma in our lives diwali is also a day when bali emperor bali was killed according to mythology bali was killed by vaman avatar the dwarf who killed bali because bali was too proud so he was too proud and arrogant as a ruler and he was quite invincible nobody could kill him so in vaman avatar he came vishnu came and asked him give me 3 feet of land can you not donate that and you know all the story that then vishnu takes up his brihat kaya roopa and keeps one feet on the entire akasha entire gagana that loka swarga loka is his then he takes another step and he covers the entire bhu loka but then he asks for the third step where should i keep my third step then vali says that uh, okay you can keep it on my head and in this way the ahankara was gone because he could know that he could not even give three feet of land to god this story tries to indicate that we should not have ahang 
ahankara in our lives that I have done this, I have created this, I have made this, this is mine. This feeling is self-deteriorating. So we should always be thankful for what we are getting from the Almighty God. And we should never think that we can actually own it, dominate it. Many kings, rulers have come, they have dominated for some time and they have gone. Nobody even cares to remember. Now, who was the king of Nilagiri? Do you know? <laughs> who was the king of Athagada? Do you know? Who cares? Many have come and gone. Right? So, at this, we say Divavali is the time when ego is one. Dipavali is also a time when Vikramaditya, with his name we remember Vikramanka, our calendar, he was coronated in Ujjayani. In Bali, uh, in Dipavali, what we do? We take uh, wick, put it in a lamp, and then we take a matchbox, put some oil into that, and we light a lamp. What is this lamp? Well, the mind is like a wick. The mind which keeps on thinking on various things which are nonsensical is like that wick. And if I soak that wick with love, then it is ready to glow with slight part of the math stick okay now what is that math stick the math stick could be any trigger of yoti any trigger of light it could be a math stick it could be a small piece of lighter another candle it should be another source of light so first the mind should be filled with love and then when it is touched by a jyoti of jnana it starts glowing glowing like a lamp that is called as atma yoti atma yoti or the flame of the spirit in this case when love keeps on burning the jyoti grows the knowledge grows and then that gives light to others so one whose heart is not filled up with love, true love, cannot give away light to others. You see, the most of the knowledgeable people in the world, they fall into two categories. Some who live a cerebral existence, cerebral existence in the sense, for them books matter, bookish knowledge matter, right? keep on reading books, they keep on reading more and more, buying books. They live in a separate world. They are not able to contribute much to the society. Yes, if they write something, then they may be able to leave something for the next generation. But if you see the highly spirited one, those people in which Atma Yoti is glowing, they not only have knowledge, they have love. Think of Gandhi, think of Subhas, think of any national leader, international leader whom you know. They are driven by spirit of love. Abraham Lincoln, his heart melted for the slaves. Mother Teresa, his heart, her heart melted for everyone, including the lepers. So once that Atma Jyoti glows, the society will benefit from you. Now, it's up to us that whether you have one Atma Yoti glowing or many. That is why we have this ceremony of glowing lamps. Lamps one after another, one after another. A series of lamps. One lamp helping another to glow. That lamp helping another to glow. Somebody has spoken, it is better 
to light up a candle than to curse the darkness. What is the point that you keep on blaming the darkness? This is bad. This is good. This is not happening well. Some things need to change. One is not satisfied much with his or her life. So, uh -huh. but if I start to glow a lamp, the same point, I help another life. So it is better to light a lamp than to curse the darkness. Right? Anya ko blame kari ki kaun lava? Aogote Deepak ko prajjolita karo. That means when the Atma Jyoti glows within us, we actually become divine instruments. We become instruments of God. We start to bring happiness in others' lives. In this way, darkness evades from minds. Darkness will be there. Night will be there. That darkness we are not talking about. Diwali is a symbolic representation of removal of ignorance from the mind. Are you clear? Well, few days back I had taken some youth for a tour. We all were together in Bhubaneswar. I was about to enter the campus of Mukteshwar temple. One priest was there. He was saying in Odia, Mandira ra ude achhi ki nahi, laje phajo nahi. Manu ko sab ko pila, kaun pila, jana nahi, jati nahi, dharma nahi. Vise nahi sida the dal dal ki pasjao chundi bitere. The priest is worried that about the caste of that fellow. So being close to God. The priest is ignorant. So ignorance is in the mind first. Are you clear? So Diwali is a symbolic representation of removal of ignorance. Diwali is definitely a festival which tells you, takes all of us through Trikarana Suddhi. Trikarana Suddhi? Three things must be purified body, mind and speech. Kaya, Mano, Bakya. If these three things are purified, then I become a pure soul. Means my word and my deed must match. My mana and my mind and my deed must match. My word and my deed must match. So, Dipavali is basically a highly spirited and spiritual festival. But as I told you, I have told you before that Yudhisthira says Sastrasya Tattvam Guhayam Nikhiptam The Tattva, the theory of Shastras, the theory of the scriptures that is thrown inside the Gufas, in the caves. Nobody goes to read that. When we forget the real significance of Diwali, now what do we do then? We do different. The kind of Diwali we celebrate. When it is Diwali, we think of firecrackers. Firecrackers are not new to India. They are not even new to China. Nobody exactly knows when firecrackers originated. Nobody actually really knows that when Rama shot, whether there was fire coming out of the Daro or not. We are not sure of it. Let's not get into that also. But firecrackers, historically, are known to be designed by certain people who were called as Turushakas. Turushakas were Scythians, a tribe in the above the Kandhar region in the Turkmenistan, Turkey area. They were Mongols, they were Chinese, okay, and they were good at firecrackers. From them, firecracker knowledge spread throughout the world. The knowledge of firecracker in single word is called pyrotechnics. P Y R O T C A. N I C S. 
pyrotechnics t c h n i c s well in pyrotechnics they design various types of cracker multiple colors multiple styles in every firecracker you see there would be four agents actually one there would be a coloring agent number two there would be a sound unit third there would be some fuel something will be burning and fourthly there would be a wick okay a squib so coloring agent huh fuel oxidizing reducing agent and a wick or maybe a squib ranjaka hmm? jodakwa well the wick comprises of gunpowder and paper thread rolled fuel generally is potassium nitrate okay oxidizing reducing agents could be anything they could be lead compounds they could be potassium nitrate they could be perchlorates perchlorates of ammonium perchlorate or maybe potassium perchlorate mercury sometimes these are oxidizing or reducing agent coloring agents actually vary depending upon the firecracker they use various types of metal as coloring agent if your firecracker is giving brilliant white brilliant white like uh, you see that dhab dhab jharjhari okay they must contain aluminium if your firecracker is giving red color when it glows right uh, this what you call kumpi huh? flower pots they give they must contain lithium similarly if your firecracker is giving blue color it must contain copper sometimes strontium is also used for red to get a green color they use barium nitrate okay well you sometimes see glittering effect like uh, that fuljari uh, on that some sparkles come out this glittering effect is a sulfide uh, antimony sulfide and besides all this you may also find other metals like cadmium and arsenic this is what is a common uh, what uh, what you call it to be cracker or maybe any type of cracker is all about this is carefully designed putting all these ingredients into that now let's see what are the problems you know this potassium nitrate which is a fuel which is also given added with sulfur and carbon inside that it is very very toxic for the lungs causing asthma and lung cancer if you take all the heavy metals which i told you moments back aluminium barium nitrate lithium etc etc they cause skin irritation you know today many people develop rats bhaturi they lead to that for a long time if people hear uh, people smell then they develop alzheimer's disease it is a memory loss kind of disease respiratory irritation and lead when it gets into the body it replaces the calcium makes the bone soft affects the development of the children we burn all these things together question is that sir it's a very old festival we have been doing for a long time yes we have been doing for a long time but our society was not the way we live today you know our society has also changed previously the societies used to be greener there used to be forests everywhere right there used to be jungle so there was a kind of sequestration mechanism where these things were absorbed yes or no besides you used to do it for one day but now we do it almost every day we do it in many ways 
we have factories burning these metals and etc every day we have other units soldering units welding units hmm? we also have this vehicles previously there used to be horses and bullocks so all these we are doing for the entire year for our convenience we are riding bikes we are driving cars we are buses on diesel trucks on diesel every day we are doing that we say for our necessity for the growing population for the development but then what right have we got to pollute excessively in one day i hope i had told you if you remember that who from 2014 has been has been actually recording the pop pollution levels of the world exclusively focusing on air pollution and they have discovered that in india in the year of 2014 2.3 million people 23 lakh people died because of lung diseases out of pollution air pollution 23 lakhs per year is not a small number and very recently in 2018 report we see this number has even grown right now we register approximately 4.2 million deaths well this is really alarming people who die because of air pollution don't complain they're dying because of air pollution they say that we are dying because of bronchitis we are dying because of asthma or respiratory failure this or that allergic condition psoriasis but they don't say that we are dying because of pollution pollution is a killer and out of 20 most polluted cities of the world 14 are there in india rest 5 are in china one in mongolia so in this way you see that this asiatic countries are facing the highest pollution including india this is a time we should give a thought again how could we make better diwali better celebrations i'm not about diwali only i'm on a bigger scale i'm talking about the entire area arena pollution well we pollute out of dirt and dust every day we create a lot of dust with the vehicles running we have poor agricultural practices we burn the stubble stubble you understand after this uh, crops are being taken whatever remains is called as a stubble huh they burn the stubble any type of municipal incineration burning if there would be some dirt or garbage put some petrol light it up people do that we also create a lot of household waste there also we generate pollution like we have rotting vegetable peels huh we throw them in the butcher's area the scales of the fish Uh, the skin etc etc that is being allowed to rot transport road transport causes a lot of pollution everywhere and along with all these you have industrial and supply related pollutions we are really scared that would we be able to last scientists are afraid that if the way pollution is growing right now by 2050 the human race would be at a grave danger japan was one of the most polluted countries in fact tokyo was one of the most polluted cities by 70s because they grew in terms of their production casio sony you know all these companies they are expert at electronic man manufacturing so result was that the pollution was high a time came in tokyo there used to be oxygen booth you pay some money 
put a mask on your face take one or two puffs of oxygen then you walk again the air was extremely polluted now the same thing is there with delhi just diwali is over now for next 3 4 months up to february or march children of delhi would be putting on masks on their face do you want your children to be wearing masks from the morning to evening because they are suffering people catch asthma many of our students are not able to come to class because of asthma the dust and the allergy associated is putting them into trouble what is happening with delhi haryana many cities of uttar pradesh will also gradually happen to other parts provided we don't start taking care of the pollution what could be the solution the solutions are known to all just probably we need to switch we need to make promises that we would keep a proper check of our vehicle engine we need to pick promises that above one minute i will not keep my vehicle on i will turn it off we have to make promises that when i drive a car my car will have all the seats filled we must also take promises that we need to plant we need to put plants we need to take promises that we will not burn too many crackers one or two is enough yesterday i burnt one cracker one piece one ganga jamuna i like that cracker i burnt it over diwali you can reduce at any possible manner otherwise the future would be peril india is a country of rivers but now we are buying water 20 rupees per liter such a shame we are not in sahara we are not inside the thar or gobi desert there is no water for kilometers we is we are a country of rivers because of our careless handling of water now we are buying water every house there will be water filter without water filter if you are going to read you are going to catch diseases still there are many people who can't afford and they are suffering the dying of kidney diseases and many other stomach problems ulcers yes well if look into the air now today i see in the amazon in flipkart in various types of shopping websites you discover air purifiers water purifier air purifier so how much money are we going to spend on the basic things of life and what about a poor man what about a man who can't afford who struggling for his survival where shall he get the money to buy water to buy water purifier or an air purifier and can you really carry air purifier everywhere can you take water purifier everywhere we are taking a bottle of water and again then with that we are producing plastic the plastic is being thrown just like that you go to that kabada center okay where all this collects the people who collect hmm, garbages they store you see the piles of uh, piles of bottles plastics variety so much in use probably we are going to convert all the natural resources and you no know, make them plastic the world will not be a water planet anymore after some years it is going to turn out to be a plastic planet i i really presume well one of uh, my dearest uncle he's he talked about two things that in diwali we we are not able to celebrate equally some families some families have light <laughs> some families don't have light 
some families have crackers some families don't have crackers some families have sweets some families don't have sweets in this world people cannot be equal that i know equality people have been demanding for a long time but it is a very far goal very difficult to achieve but yes we can target equity where the differences would be less on someone's roof there would be a lot of light in a poor man's his uh, ceiling would not be there he would have a polythene as his shelter what are you going to do with this people does a son or a daughter of a poor man not have the right to uh, be happy can we pray for equality no we can't and we shouldn't but at least we can pray for equity that whatever one deserves that he should get and then with time he should try to grow how can you help a poor how can you help a destitute who are still in millions in independent india after 70 years you can only do by empowering them make him powerful so that he doesn't have to beg make him powerful so that he doesn't have he, he can sustain himself that andar jyoti which you have grown simply transfer it to make another individual powerful through education and if he or she is educated if he or she is able daksha he or she can manage his life well the world would be growing past the understanding of diwali it is more important for all of us to understand diwali than to celebrate it and how you want to celebrate that all depends on us i expect that bhagwan blesses you in coming times to celebrate a happier diwali in fact your diwali must be celebrated every day your holi must be celebrated every day in the truest form aapki har roz diwali honi chahiye every day you need to glow lamps lamps in the heart of others clear that's all i wish to say thank you very much